Hello, this is Angie all the way from Yucatan, Mexico right now. I have just about finished my first month here and let me share and go through some of the things that we have been doing here. First coming to Yucatan, Mexico, it was a little bit difficult for me to catch on with the language because I knew a little bit of simple words, but I still didn't have that large of vocabulary. So that was a lot of time to get used to. Um, but now a month in, I feel pretty confident in my language that I can you know, talk to people, even just on baby talk or just simple conversations. I feel confident enough that they at least understand me and I can understand them as well. It was a victory when I was able to order my first food by myself without any help or assistance in Spanish. So that was pretty cool. So it has been a great learning opportunity with the language here. Um, I think the kids also helped me a lot with that because it's, I guess, not as intimidating to speak with kids because I don't know, even if you mess up, they understand, it's okay. And so one of the kids who have been helping me a lot in this has been Mari. We babysit her three days out of the week whenever her father is away at work. It has been such a huge blessing with her. She is so cute, she just turned four, and I think she has been a great, great just joy in our house as well, and just loving on her, being an example of Christ to her as well, teaching her even some English words as she teaches us Spanish words. So that has been a really awesome ministry opportunity and just a blessing from God. Another thing with the kids ministry is we do two English class per week with a Bible class on another day. Um, and another ministry that we've been doing is Tishmi Walk, which is both of those combined English and um, Bible class placed together. Those kids are just my heart. Um, they're so sweet, so precious, and just such a joy to be around. And it's awesome to see them learning and just even the desire that they have to learn. There are some kids who are like, no, I don't want to do this. But there's others who are like, no, like I'm going to take this opportunity. I'm going to learn it. And just seeing the attention that you give them and the love as well and what God's doing in their lives. It has been truly a blessing as well as even praying for these kids, for their families, and just for everybody here in the towns that are local and our main town. One thing that we have is fellowships, um, Sunday nights, or whenever we made a big meal and we want to share it with people, we'll invite them over, which we have seen God come through because there's this one night where we invited way too many people and didn't have enough food. And so God provided a whole entire, like, four course meal for them. I don't even know how it happened, but it was just the Lord we prayed about. It. We're like, God, like, do you see these people here? Please provide food. And he did. It was amazing. And just seeing God in the little things every single day, that is truly one thing that has just even brought my relationship closer with him is seeing how much he cares for this place and he cares for this ministry. And he provides all the little details and even the big details and just the little testimonies that are in everything. My growth here has been something that I've been cherishing and God has told me to cherish the time here and what he's doing and I can see that in little details. Um, I've always wanted to learn an instrument and I, everything that I would do in my own strength that never worked but then coming here God has just been teaching me and I can tell you that it is not by myself. It is not me at all. It is all the Lord. He, we have been doing worship practice two days out of the week and that has just been helping me so much. I even was able to play the guitar on stage with um, the worship group, which was really awesome. We were all just, um, I think it was five of us playing the guitar or the ukulele, and it was just so awesome. What a joy. And so I give God all the glory because by my strength, I cannot do it. Only he can. One of the little kids came over and he was saying how he's like, I don't love God. God has done this and that. He doesn't hear me. He doesn't hear my thoughts, my prayers. And I was able to talk to him and be like, no, like that's not true. I was able to share the gospel with him, telling him that God is always here. He always hears your prayers. He always hears your thoughts. And to um, not think that he does not love you because he, he loves you the most he'll ever love you. And yes, even though we may sin or do bad choice on this earth, he sent his son so that we don't have to get punished because he loved us. His son died for us so that that punishment is over. So it was awesome just to share the gospel with him. And afterwards he was like, oh, okay, like I love God. Like, thank you. And just like even being able to work with him, like getting, just inviting them over for them to play, eat some sweets and just like, you know, encourage them, build them up, show them, you know, the love of God. There are a couple projects that we're wanting to do a carnival um, in about a month where we just invite the townspeople and, you know, they're able to have fun, play games, but then in the end, end it with a service and just preaching the gospel there, as well as starting up a ministry where we go to local towns to evangelize. So that's been something that we've been praying for. I ask that you guys keep that in your prayers as well. It would be very helpful and just for God to lead the way and guide it. This has been the missions update. Thank you for listening and watching the video. I ask that you guys keep us in your prayers 
and we will be keeping you in our prayers as well. Um, thank you for everything, for supporting, and I hope you enjoyed. God bless you. Bye-bye.